and welcome everyone. In previous videos, we saw how to create the basic shapes uh, 3D geometrics in a 3D picture in LabVIEW. So in this video and the more videos onward, uh, we will see some application of the 3D geometries. Like for example, here, uh, what I'm, I was trying to do is to show the beam of light, like the flux is being thrown on the wall. So if we can change the flux depending upon its radius, like we can use an LDR, uh, then we can just connect the values with these uh, 3D shapes so that we can get uh, the flux basically. So if I change any radius, then it is showing me an effect on my VR. So that's what I am trying to do. So let's just go on to the new VI so that we can see from the very start how to make it. So let's just place a 3D picture on our front panel. So then the next thing is as we know we will go to 3D picture control geometries and pin it out in here create a cone and two cones basically since we know that one is the cone and one will be its front front side so that we can uh, judge it from the two sides basically from uh, the front and from the side so the next thing is create an object which is very important property so that we can know uh, so that we can generate the shape basically and the next thing is rotate object and then we also need to use this translate object so now we can close that out and then again very simple method is go to visible polymorphic vi and object drivable connect that with this one geometry and here we have radius and height basically so we can control these as well create a control and create a control of radius and a height similarly we can go again to our 3d picture and helpers and change color connect the output with the color same with this color so that i want to keep the color same and uh, create a constant all right and uh, we can just set that to white color basically so now the uh, object scene is what we are getting as an output for this one and similarly we want that so make it copy by pressing control and dragging and then what we can do is connect that in here create a constant in y-axis I am creating 0.01 and uh, then as for angle I am creating a control and then if I have to combine these two then I will show you first how to combine these but I know that uh, this will not give me uh, my satisfactory results because because you will see what is the problem so right now I'm just trying to combine these two objects by setting some translation let's just set the translation in here create a control and then I can give its output in here and that's it so now I can put that inside of my while loop, create a control as well as um, loop iteration. Uh, let's just say a loop iteration of 1000. Uh, now I have to put that on one side as well as these. Oops, I bring that stop with it. So let's just place that in here. If I run my program right now, I'm seeing only one picture because of my. If I set the translation into, like as you can see in here, uh, two pictures are created, but uh, these are 
if I try to move the angle so these are the two I can even set that um, I can even set these as an automatic mode so that they will be adjusted itself but that will not be much useful since if I run my program right now since both of these are set inside of the 3d picture and if I try to move they can be moved as I want by using this angle I can increase their height but what I need is I just only want one as a beam of light and the other one I want to keep that the front face but right here it is changed throughout because the scenes are being combined at one place and all the rotation is being distributed so what I will do is I will use another I will delete this function and uh, um, let's just delete this out as well and uh, connect that in here and simply create another 3d picture so I will combine that such a way that no one will knows what is happening around here so let's just connect this out make the maximum size uh, align these together and let's just move it to a little so that that will be overlapping basically so it is right now looking like only one picture so I can remove its label as well as remove its label as well so now I am getting uh, only one picture uh, in here as well as the second picture in here so I can just if I just set it to zero or Y and let's just set it to oops 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 it is going outside of my sight so I can set its angle of this one as two right now it is rotated and uh, I can set its height more but right now it is going outside of my sight so I think that's enough and we need to set the translation to this scene as well so we will go to insert and all palettes and then in graphic palettes and 3d pictures we will set um, some translate objects and then again we will create a control so that we can set it automatically so I can place that in here and, and let's just set it down and similarly just place that upward so now if I try to change its y-axis it's moving in y-axis and I can set that out like this one now it is a bit more realistic if I set the angle to 1.7 that should be moved but it is not so if I set 2.1 it is moved in more that direction so I'll set 1.4 and uh, let's say 1.1 so yes that's moved in this direction right now so that I can see its face basically a little bit of face and now I can even increase its height and uh, let's just say I can set its angle to 0 0.9 but I need then I can even set minus 1.8 so that it is moved a little bit of left side 1.4 now it is looking perfect and similarly I can set its direction like in y-axis if I move down 
it is moving like this and if I just press 0 0.7 then I can set it more downward like 0 0.2 now that's all right I think I can just now change I want to change the radius basically so what I will do is I will replace that with the numeric controls with the dial one and here I have the radius and I'll set that from 0 0.1 to um, what will be more feasible is 1.5 let's just say we will set that to 0 0.1 to 1.5 so if I run my program right now if I decrease its size is being decreased but it is not affecting our second image so we will be missing some points like this one radius and I can connect that in here so that both will be changed automatically so if I increase its size so as you can see now we have its size changed so we can make it dependent to our LDR value as well so that's how you can make a beam of light using LabVIEW.